in his homely Father Isaiah Mayombo the Vilka Geno told the choir to ask for the intercession of the Holy Spirit in whatever they do. After the mass, every choir member was given a neck tag for identification purposes before boarding the bus. The selection of 300 choir members followed a three-month training and auditions ahead of the celebration. According to Father Joseph Musana, the diocesan choir coordinator, the selection followed a criterion. We looked at choristers who can grasp the notes as fast as they could, and also we looked at choristers who can learn how to articulate to articulate words in any language, read and articulate the words properly. And also we looked at choristers who can learn when they are called upon to do vocals. Many choir members from different churches showed interest to participate, but some were eliminated after failing to meet the requirements. We enrolled a number of them, hoping that we are going to audition them and remain with 250. But during the course of practices, we got a, num a few resources more and were able to train the 300 and maintain them. This will sing multi-language songs in line with the day's celebration to favor all languages in the country. We have prepared what is called a multilingual mass, many languages, and also considering the languages of the countries surrounding Uganda, that is Kiswahili, Lingala. The selected choristers we walked to were all excited about their final selection to lead in the main celebration. Thank God for making me reach this far. This is my first time to lead in Abgongo. I'm very happy to, to be part of the choir from Sokoto that is going to admit mass. We have been practicing for all those months. Finally, the choir members aboard six buses, including parliamentary and UWA buses, started the journey to Namugongo, Shaidat Nasaku, UBC News.